Hello, everybody. My name is Aman Chauhan. I'm a medical oncologist and a phase one trialist at University of Miami. I specialize in managing neuroendocrine cancers. Neuroendocrine cancer is not one single disease, a spectrum of disease. There are different types of neuroendocrine cancers. Today, we will be discussing a very interesting trial, which is uh, targeted at an aggressive type of neuroendocrine cancer called poorly differentiated neuroendocrine carcinoma. And within that, uh, small cell lung cancers, because poorly differentiated neuroendocrine carcinomas can be further of different types and it can originate in different organs. But this trial that we will discuss today is focused on small cell lung cancer, which is a very important subtype of high-grade poorly differentiated neuroendocrine carcinoma. About 13 to 15% of all lung cancers are small cell lung cancer patients. So this is a big uh, disease burden globally and is a highly lethal, a very aggressive cancer and is in dire need of a breakthrough. Five-year survival uh, for extensive stage small cell lung cancer in the range of 10 to 13 percent. So as you can know, we are desperate for finding better and more effective treatments. There has been some advancement in small cell lung cancer space recently with some newer drugs uh, approved uh, one of them being terlatumab. When, but when it comes to the frontline treatment, the traditional chemotherapy, the platinum-based doublet, has been established since 1980s. And recently, we added immunotherapy to that frontline platinum doublet, which had shown some improvement in overall survival, but very modest, rough, roughly about two months improvement by addition of immunotherapy. We want to do better. We want to improve on the effectiveness of the chemo and immunotherapy and um, improve our uh, durability of responses to the frontline treatment from beyond four or five or six months to several more months. One of the strategies that this particular study by Novartis is employing is using a radiopharmaceutical which targets somatostatin receptors. Uh, now, you've heard of this drug called Lutathera. It's a very, very important drug for management of well-differentiated lower-grade neuroendocrine tumors. Um, however, there might be a role for using Lutathera in our higher-grade, poorly differentiated neuroendocrine carcinomas like small cell lung cancers. What we have figured out is a small subset of patients, maybe about 30 to 50% of patients, may express some degree of somatostatin receptors. Um, which will make these patients a great candidate for adding lutathera. Also, small cell lung cancer tends to be very radiosensitive. So uh, they respond beautifully to radiation-based DNA damage and, and there is rapid tumor kill, um, makes uh, these tumor a great candidate for a PRT-based agents as long as we have a target. So this phase one study is going to test out glutathera, which is a beta ionizing radiation emitting PRRT agent uh, in combination with standard of care chemo and immunotherapy. So uh, patients, appropriate patient uh, with extensive stage small cell lung cancer will be screened for somatostatin receptor positive disease. And if the dotatate PET is positive, patient can receive lutathera uh, at incremental doses uh, based on the different uh, dose cohorts. The main goal for the study being a phase one study is to establish safety of lutathera in combination of chemo and immunotherapy. And once we have figured out the recommended phase two dose, then we will uh, potentially take this combination into larger studies to evaluate the effectiveness or efficacy. Uh, we will be soon opening this study at University of Miami, but if you look into the clinical trials to your GOV link provided below, you can find all the sites where this trial is currently active and recruiting, be it in the U.S. or outside the U.S. Again, very important study for our field, uh, especially for high-grade neuroendocrine cancer, where a breakthrough is uh, badly needed. And uh, I really wish the study team, sponsors, patients the very best. I really hope that this turns out to be successful. Um, so please uh, stay tuned for, uh, you know, how the results pan out in this space. Thank you so much for the opportunity.